Hey, E. Good morning. Hi, P man. Hello, Billy. Hi, Yi. Hi, Fei Man. Hi, Billy. It seems Samir is also out of office today, as I get an email from Samir yesterday. When I send the email invitation to all notary maintainers, so I guess Samir will not be able to join us today. Okay. Hello, E. Hey, Shive. Hey, Femen, Billy. Good morning. Guys. Hi, Vani. Hey, Vani. Hey. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah, good evening, yeah. Vani. Yeah, hi. <laughs> hi, Pritesh. Hey, hi. <laughs> Are you getting better, Pradesh? Yeah, much better now. Great. Welcome back, Pradesh. Thanks. Uh, I think uh, we have all the participants from our side. Uh, Toddy is also uh, out of office this week. And the next week, Toddy will join the KubeCon. So Toddy, will not join this uh, next week uh, uh, call as well. Uh, Wani, oh. how about your side? Uh, we, we, are, uh, we should be able to attend the meeting, myself and Pratesh, on Monday. It's good. OK. Uh, <laughs> on how about Thursday, today? Yeah. On Saturday. Thursdays, I think uh, only Toddy attends, right, from your side. So, yeah. Yeah. So we need to see what is going to be on Thursday, right? So. Okay. And on uh, Thursday, if you need anything, maybe we can also have a offline chat or we yeah, can do it sure. uh, Friday morning, uh, case by case, if needed. Yeah. Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, maybe we can start today, Bunny. Uh, Anywhere else from your side? Oh, yeah. Uh, hold on one minute. Let me... Yeah. Uh, will Cody join? Cody will not be able to join today. Okay. Okay. Then let's start. <clears throat> I'm going to share the screen. Can you see my screen? Yes, uh, e. with the uh, certificate revocation, I think uh, Cody just completed uh, all the comments, uh, addressing all the comments between Pratesh and uh, Rakesh. So he has uh, requested for a re-review. So, uh, Pratesh, uh, I think uh, the review is... Yeah, some pending. 
I think we need to sync up. He didn't think it, I think we, we didn't sync up today. So I think about it tomorrow. Yeah. There are okay. still some comments which are pending. Oh, okay. I think we'd call it out that he will sync up with me, but he didn't. Oh, is that true? Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, for this. I'll schedule uh, something for tomorrow, yeah. Pritesh, uh, so mm -hmm. that we can sing. Yeah. Thanks, Mani. Most, and of things, yeah. most of the things are complete. There are like some of the things, like small things, which needs to be fine. Okay. There's a part of that should be ready. Yeah. Sure, sure. I, I'm scheduling right away, Pritesh, so that. Thank you. Okay. Uh, this is about uh, uh, certificate revocation. Uh, in the notation Kogo repository, and uh, Pritesh will also sync with Cody. Uh, and uh, I hope that uh, once we, uh, the comments, if the comments is resolved, maybe uh, Cody can click this uh, resolve conversation because currently it seems a lot of uh, comments. Mm -hmm. And one of the, one of the policy is that uh, we, we cannot approve it if we have comments not uh, resolved. That is uh, one yeah. of the policies. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. 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 And, and uh, so I think that tomorrow, uh, our time, Shui Patrick can also review uh, once Cody resolve all the comments. Sure. OK. Uh, how about? Uh, we have another one in the notation go. How about this one? Pradesh, will you discuss with Cody together? It uh, depends on yeah. the first one. So we cannot merge this one until the first one is approved and the changes are made. So like there is a the implementation in Kodo which on which this PR depends. Yeah. Like the yeah. PR, it's there are only some of the commands which here, which needs to be fixed. Nothing major here also. Like there are changes, but it should not take much time to implement them. Okay. So this one, yeah, we also need to resolve comments uh, for this one. I think revocation, we will circle back tomorrow and uh, we should try to see if we can close out all the revocation comments. And if, uh, Pritesh and Rakesh can approve those. I think that is something we are going to target for tomorrow. Pritesh, do you see any concerns in that space? No, right? Uh, no, not really. Okay. Oh, perfect. So the changes we are listening are important, but should not take much time to implement them. Sure, sure. Um, okay, thanks. Uh, Shui, do, do you see any, any issue that could block in this certificate revocation? Uh, I, I know that you talked to, uh, sorry, no, you, you discussed with Cody, I think one, one week ago on this, uh, on some comments. Do you see any other big uh, issues or it's just the minor issues? Uh, no big issues, uh, just minor issues. And uh, one thing uh, I want to ask a British is that uh, should uh, this return error if there's no uh, OCSP service? Uh, not really. Uh, so if there's no revocation uh, configured, which means who is signing doesn't want revocation to be there. So if there's no revocation, there's no, nothing configured, you cannot do anything for revocation. We consider as a uh, certificate not be cannot be revoked at all. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yes, the notation go can specify if we need to enforce uh, checking the uh, revocation or not. If we do enforce checking the revocation, uh, uh, but there's no uh, service in the certificate, should we return error? That's my question. Uh, in my opinion, not really. I mean, if customers who signed it doesn't, hasn't configured revocation, Probably they don't even worry. They don't have a mechanism to revoke. They don't, they don't care about revocation. That might be the reason they haven't configured it. The, the concern is and, there. Uh, uh, I'm not sure. I need to verify if the uh, the OCSP servers are uh, are signed or not signed in the certificate. If it's signed, it's okay. If it's not signed, in, okay. They they, they, oh, okay, they're fine. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
yeah, okay, then I think that's good. Otherwise, if it's not signed, then anyone can remove those servers and uh, uh, just present to the users and say, okay, there's no OCSP yeah, servers fair, yeah, and they are, yeah, yeah, they are never revoked. Yeah, I can confirm it once. I will also just go into as far as I know they are signed, but I will go once again confirm that. Yeah, thanks. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and besides that, I don't have other issues. So, uh, yeah. so Shibe, are you telling other than the current comments and the and the verification that you wanted to get, uh, Pratesh? Confirm. Other than that, you don't have any other new comments for that PRC. Uh, uh, of course, I need to review those new uh, commits. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Okay. And we are trying to see because these are the two outstanding kind of, you know, uh, PRs that's been pending for two weeks. Yeah, so from the reviewing from the maintainers, right? So we need to make sure uh, uh, that uh, we have the right planning in place so we know when we can do the release. That's about it. Uh, yes, uh, by the way, uh, uh, the current is, uh, one is showing the notation Go PR. So we need to uh, merge the notation core Go PR first, then uh, review this PR. Correct. 134, right? Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. I think uh, tomorrow, our time, we, we should have uh, the core Go uh, resolved by, by your side. Then uh, yeah. sure we can take a final look and uh, review again. If no problem, we can review. Uh, we we can merge the core go and then we go to this uh, uh, go library. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, sorry, I have no. already blocked the calendar for Pratesh and uh, Rakesh with Kodi, so we should have something uh, taken care tomorrow, and we should be able to close uh, from Kodi. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Vani. Uh, okay. One more thing is that uh, for. Uh, let me check. One more thing is about uh, the spigot revocation. I think we need a user, user guide. Uh, it's related to this one, tutorials for certificate revocation. I think we need a guide for the user to understand how to config certificate revocation and, and uh, is explain some behaviors. And this will be also uh, published in our website. Basically, mm -hmm. for for every new feature, we we need to have a have a tutorial guide for user. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this is. Uh, let, let's think about this. Uh, once we have RC four released, then mm -hmm. we mentioned that we have this new feature. But the user needed to understand how to use this, right? How to enable this feature, mm -hmm. how to configure this. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, it doesn't have to be too much. Uh, it could be a simple guide for the user at the start. Okay, sure, sure. Do you, okay. Do you have anything, uh, any tutorial guide? Is there any template or format, Feynman, that we follow? Uh, Actually, we, there, uh, yeah, there are a couple of user guide under the uh, tutorial section, tutorial okay. chapter. Okay. Yeah, okay. we can follow that style. Okay. And mm -hmm. uh, I want to tell that, you know, we have a professional technical writer, Zach, who is helping us to write and polish the content. So, uh, so don't worry to, don't worry about the template or the format itself. Got Just you. need to Got submit you. first PR. Our technical writer will help to review and uh, maybe polish the content later. Okay. Okay. We can have a, an initial version submitted to the website, the documentation. Okay. That's fine. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. So, 
uh, there is another way. Uh, if it's uh, because we, we have the time, uh, and uh, we, we have a limited time. Uh, so if this takes much more time, we can have a simple version and we put it in the release notes so that the yeah. user can have yeah. a quick, uh, quick guide on it. And then we can continue to polish this one. Yeah, sure. Uh, okay, this is for a certificate of revocation. Another is for uh, sign the OCI layout. Uh, currently, it is the experimental feature in RC4. Uh, we also have uh, several PRs in different repository. So for this one in Notation Go repo, uh, should we already approve it? So hopefully, Pritesh can take a look. So uh, sorry about that. Last Thursday, I was on vacation. Pritesh was out of office. So and today, Samir is out of office. So we could not catch up. Uh, so Sajay, uh, what was the outcome from what Michael and you guys discussed? Are we going ahead with this experimental option for now? Or Michael, uh, my, uh, I don't think the the flags that everybody want was agreed on. Basically, the uh, the thinking was we move to a plugin model, uh, mm -hmm. and currently there is no spec or any kind of work charted out for that. I think we should start to work on that. The experimental flag will just give us a way to kind of like cater to this scenario, which is if there is an OCI layout, we can try local signing. But most of the code would most likely be in going into a plugin which doesn't exist right now, and there's no spec that's being called out. So um, my expectation is that we formalize either the work directly into the Docker CLI or we do a plugin as needed. Um. Actually, uh, I, I have another, uh, yeah, yeah, so this one we can discuss later uh, about this uh, plugin. Actually, in upper one, we have uh, this uh, POC that to use uh, notation Docker plugin, but uh, it was uh, removed from upper one. There, there was a discussion here. Um, so I think in, in RC4, uh, we can, because we have this experimental flag, right? We, we, we can release this feature so that the user can try it and we can make a decision later. So it's, uh, it, it won't be uh, breaking changes. So, um, uh, yeah, as a part of the flag, these commands don't even come up, right? Until the environment variable is actually set. Yeah. Yes. By, by okay. default, no uh, experimental flag will be displayed unless we set that uh, environment variable. Variable. So, sorry. Are we, okay? Are we okay to predict the customers if we remove this functionality in future and migrate them to Docker plugin or any other plugin based model? Like, we're not yeah, like, I, I, I think. I, I think we have to be clear that if it's experimental, we have to guarantee that it's totally something that they can try out, but not something that they should depend on. So yeah, the statement of breaking something it. would not make sense, right? Yes, we have to call it out specifically that we can remove the functionality. We can completely yeah. remove the functionality there in future. Yes, I, I think that's fair. We we should call it out in the docs or whenever wherever we say that this might not live here forever yeah because for user for experimental, the... what i say is like they want to collect the initial experience for the customer and they want to just confirm their approach and usually when they someone introduce experimental feature they want it to persist in future but they haven't finalized the approach or the way it should be done not really for example when we spoke through helm there was a phase in which they discussed to remove the registry commands uh, for the release because it was not ready for ga uh, it didn't go that way, but uh, there was a lot of ask for not removing it, and they left it in. 
but there was general consensus that an experimental feature can be removed from a CLI um, depending on release timelines and things like that. Yeah, I'm just worried about that. We don't end up you know, maintaining this code base for a long time once we have a Docker plugin based model if you finalize on that. Agreed. This might this experience might just go away and we don't have to worry about it. If the if the the point is if the CLI already has a command, then people should not even toggle this on, right? Yes. But until they have it, they might do it and they might rely on it. Yeah, I, I do. I do hear it, but this is just wanted to raise my concern here. Yeah, time. I think we have to be really careful in the doc saying that uh, this is going to be this is unsupported and may not be present at the release time. I think that's fair. That's the whole point of this thing. But this will give us a way to try out other things going forward. So the the basic caveat of this feature of the code is going to get executed or is going to even show up only if you enable this environment variable is it's probably I, a, a good I precedence. Oh yeah, I agree with that. The overall framework which we are building would be helpful in the future. We can also add a separate guide on documentation to explain what does the uh, feature case, the different feature case mean, such as experimental preview and the default stable feature gate and which feature should users to use in different scenarios such as for production or for testing purposes let me create an issue to track if, that we can add the stock on website uh, for the for the experimental once user use that flag there will be this kind of caution message to the users and uh, Samia also suggests to add this uh, maybe deprecate so uh, this will be the full sentence so I think it is clear to the user yeah uh, and, and another thing that uh, uh, because it's it is experimental right and we also need to have a have a discuss on other solutions so user could try the current uh, uh, current way of assigning the local uh, sign the OCI layout. Maybe in some cases, some, some scenarios, they, they think this is uh, this is good. We, we don't know. So that's the purpose of the experimental flag. And I think we, we can discuss further uh, with this item. But before that, I, I think we can start to uh, at least review the current solution. Maybe Pradesh, you can uh, check the two PRs. One is in the notation go, another is uh, in notation. We do, yeah. Okay, uh, this for the uh, sign or say layout. Uh, another one is related to the support of uh, experimental feature. I think we have uh, we have another PR. Um, it's uh, it's it's from Billy, I think. Which one? Sorry, I referring to the experimental one. Yeah, the should let me find uh, this here. Uh, it's yeah, it's this one, right, Billy? Yes, and I uh, list out some of the uh, user experience in the in the comment. Yeah, this one also need to protect uh, your review on it. Yeah, I have a question there. Why we have moved from preview to experimental here? Uh, I think I did comment and I forgot to publish my comment. I was reviewing this PR. Uh, currently, we only have, uh, I think we agreed uh, in previous meeting, we only introduced experimental flag, no additional flag to cause uh, too much uh, confusion before we, we agree that. So we only have this uh, experimental flag 
And if uh, uh, this feature uh, that the user use without any problem, and we think this is a good quality maturity, then we can move it out of from uh, experimental, then it will be stable. Uh, okay, I think we know that notation users will need this command, and that's the way it has to be done in notation somehow. Do we still need that to be experimental? I mean, so my understanding is preview is basically you want this feature, you have understand the customer need is there, it's just that you might not have then the complete implementation. Experimental is basically which can radically change or completely disappear. We don't know the user. We expect that user might need it. We don't know this. We don't have a customer data to back it up. So according to me, this sounds more like a preview feature because to add a trust policy, we know that user will need to import or export trust policy in future. They will anyway need that functionality. So it's more kind of a preview than experiment. Uh, so you think this uh, this policy command is uh, is a preview uh, level? Not yeah, to... I mean we, we do want the customer to to use it even if they don't have it enabled, right? Like for sure we know that we won't remove this command in future, and we'd like to support it. If that's the consensus, then it should be previous compared to experimental. If we disagree that it might we might remove it from future, and we don't think this might be useful to customers then it becomes a candidate of experimental. So, so we have a couple of options here. Um, if you, if everybody agrees on the policy command and its arguments and all that, and you don't have to go to the experiment. Sajay, I'm not sure we can't hear you that very well. I, I'm not sure if it is just me. Hey, Ian Pritish, can you hear Sajay? Uh, now the voice is very low. Uh, Sajay, could you say it again? All right. Am I audible now? Oh, yeah. Uh, yes. Yeah. So I, what I was suggesting is that if we feel uh, collectively that uh, the policy command is doesn't have to be behind experimental, then I think it's fair to just open it up. Uh, one other option is, let's say, before release or whatever RC4 is, um, we feel we at any point in time feel like, no, this needs to go behind a flag. We can put it in at that point also. It, it's up to us to decide where we want it to be and just kind of like go for it uh, in the sense that my understanding, Billy, here is that you wanted to just start it out safely behind the flag and then open it up. Is that the, is that the thinking? Uh, yes. So uh, I'm referring to the Helms experience uh, in which uh, it uh, introduced the OCI image support. And I, I think Helm intention was to introduce the uh, OCI support and uh, uh, not removing it, but uh, it also starts with experimental. Uh, uh, since this PR, uh, the change of this PR like uh, kind of, uh, is, is kind of a dependency for the uh, OCI layout change. I can separate this PR to two PRs, like one like introduce the experimental and the, the second one uh, applied it to policy. We can Correct. continue. We can continue the discussion for policy yeah. about whether it should be preview or experiment. Yeah, let's. That makes perfect sense. Let's break out the 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 concerns right here. The only thing that you're introducing is a flag is clear. Let's put OCI behind that. We've kind of agreed on that. Mm -hmm. uh, whether you want to put policy or not, let's open another issue and maybe track it there. Yes. Um, I have a, a additional suggestion that uh, we break out this PR one for introduce this uh, notation experimental environment variable. Another for the policy, I think we are in the RC status. Uh, it's fine that we can put it in experimental. Then we can start the testing after RC4 release. If this is really good, because we, we have the show command, but I'm not sure whether the import command is as expected. And uh, if it is good uh, after RC4, we can move notation policy out of experimental and we, we, we will make it 
default in the stable release. What do you think? Yeah, I'm because okay this is a, yeah, this is the new command. I uh, uh, um, if if we have any feedback uh, unexpectedly, however, if it is default, that could cause some issue. Uh, does it make sense, uh, Sajay Pritesh? We can in RC four mark it as experimental and we can take decision uh, before stable release. Sure, yeah. um, what I'm hearing is that you want to have the import behind a flag, right? Because you're not sure about it yet. Uh, no. uh, maybe maybe for the policy, the whole command we are agree, right? Can, maybe we can remove this. Uh, can you, this okay, uh, can, yeah, can we open another issue and just have, discuss on the, yeah, uh, on the scope of that, I think that'll be easier. But this PR is about just introducing the flag itself, right? Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah let's break it into two PRs, and we continue the discussion on the policy command. Um, as I commented in another issue about the notation policy uh, feature status. I agree with British that this should be a preview flag that we should add to this command. You know, users might have different expectations for features marked in preview or marked in experimental. If we add this policy notation policy command with experimental flag, there might be a majority of users who are not um, willing to use or get it a try, since they may consider this is not a, um, th this feature might be deprecated or have introduced breaking change in their environment. But for preview, <coughs> sorry, but for preview, preview flag, they might be much willing to test it and give us feedback. And uh, it has different criteria for these two flags. Uh, yeah, yeah, Feynman, I understand this, and we did discuss this previously because we we don't want to introduce too much flags at that time. We agreed so that we think one flag will be better. Uh, but if we want to have a preview, do we need uh, another environment variable, or we just uh, define what is the preview beans uh, in the document? Yeah, we can document it, and uh, from the feature visibility point of view, you know, preview feature is def is visible by default and without any uh, env environmental variable setting, users can see it and use it. But it just uh, used with a, uh, ex a preview flag on the CLI help information, but the experimental feature are not that easy to. Um, get started since people will need to um, explicitly set the environmental um, variable, such as notation experimental uh, set to one. Another option is that we follow the approach that when we develop a brand new top level command, such as notation policy, it first uh, introduced as an experimental. And in the next release, it can be promoted to the preview stage if we didn't receive any negative feedback from uh, the users in the first release. This is a phase approach that we iterate this feature from different stage, such as uh, promote from experimental to preview, then promote it from preview to the stable within different releases. I think Sajay has his hands raised up. Um, I'm. I would like to see if we can do with as less flags as possible. When you mean flag, just showing whether it's a preview or is it actually going to be an extra step that the customer needs to take? I think that's kind of what I'm getting confused with. One more flag means one more environment variable, more matrices of testing and whatnot. So, I would recommend that we use one flag for experimentation and then 
whatever is under the experimentation bucket is fluid, can change, can get thrown away is what we document as. But if you feel like this should go to preview, we should just stick with it and then just check it in as a command and honor the fact that it's not going to get broken in the next, in this major release or something like that. I would recommend we go down that path. More flags or more options, more error prone, right? Like we already seen so many edge cases. So uh, the one reason why I think OCI is totally experimental is because it'll just go away, right? Uh, if we have a plugin, if we have the proper implementation, but if we like it, we would probably even rewire the flag and maybe keep the implementation, but remove the flag altogether and then maybe have a different experience. But for policy, this is a core functionality, right? So there is no reason in my head to kind of make that experimental. So, but we might need time to ship it. All If you're saying that in RC4, this is going to remain experimental and then RC5 will open it up that's a separate conversation. And that's why once we create the issue, we can have that conversation that in RC4, this might be behind a flag, but RC5, we can open it up or something like that. Um, but if we introduce a concept of a preview flag that or a preview variable that becomes more complicated over, over the course, uh, that's that's my thinking here. Yeah, I agree there. We should not introduce the flag for sure. The only thing is if we're not constant the stability of the implementation, we can just mark it as a previous thing. We can use it with the caution, but yeah, for sure not behind a flag. Okay. So so the current suggestion is that we have another PR to address this policy command, and we, we don't introduce uh, additional environment variable, right? Uh, but for the command the output, the, the help doc, sh should we should we say it's preview? A any suggestions? Should we in the help we mark it as preview? Uh, you do we think? Will we change any major thing to that? If not, then I would just say, let's release the command itself. Okay, so so you mean we, we don't need to mark it as preview, right? So we only have yeah. this experimental and we have an experimental environment variable. And for the command, we think it will be become the default command. We, we don't put anything uh, there, right? Yeah, yeah. So the preview, I can think of a use case is there are like four use cases which command can satisfy and three of them are implemented. One, one is not, then that's the case. Usually I will mark them as preview, which works for most of the use case, but I haven't done the complete implementation. So that's my understanding of preview. If we feel that all the sub commands which we are implementing here are complete, then we don't need to mark them as preview. That's my opinion, but yeah, I would like to hear others. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think uh, because we, we have a, a time uh, urgency for the RC4 release, so we, we have this alignment here. So, so Billy, you can uh, break it to two PRs. And for another PR for the policy, I think we, we, we don't need to add uh, any mark for a preview. We just remove, remove the existing preview mark. And in the documentation, we can mention this is the new command. And uh, I, I do think that the policy will be uh, be the default command. We, we need it. Okay, so uh, both show and import will be experimental or only the import will be experimental? Uh, all the notation uh, policy command, I think they will be uh, by default. Okay, so, uh, okay, I'll do, the, I'll do the update accordingly. Yeah. For that PR, we can uh, continue discuss, but uh, basically this is the idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can finalize uh, it in, in a, another PR. So Pritesh, please uh, help to review those two PRs. Uh, I think this is, uh, uh, we, we have a certificate revocation. We have the OCI layout and this one, uh, we have these three, uh, features uh, critical for RC4 in, in my understanding.
Uh, anything else you want to discuss for the RC4 release? We, we do have some other things, but I don't think we, we can uh, finalize it in RC4, for example, for the plugin installation. I think we may need more time for it, uh, but we can do it after RC4. Uh, and we also have another one from uh, external contributor. It's about this one. Yeah, that's another PR. Yeah, that's yeah, pending. So, yeah, we. It's better to to have this one. So I see Baron uh, prove it, but the problem is uh, Baron is not a maintainer. So maybe Pradesh, you can. Yeah. Also take a look at this one, <laughs> or yeah, I will do it. Yeah. I'm doing it right now. I'm just, I should think I'm just doing that. Okay, thanks. So we have this one. We have certificate revocation, um, sign OCI layouts, and also the experimental. We have, yeah, several PRs. Still needed to, to review and approve. I am sending that list to Pratish. Pratish, you should have it on. Yeah. Yeah, I think once we have those uh, PRs approved and merged, we are good for RC4. Okay, then we continue. We have 20 minutes. Uh, let's continue uh, on the agenda. Uh, this is an information update. We will have another round of security audit meeting. And I think uh, FEMA already sent out the meeting request. Yeah. yeah. So the time is okay for you, right? Uh, Wani, Pritesh? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, another thing is about to reduce to two PR approvals. Uh, for three repository. Uh, one thing behind this is that because currently for the notation, notation go, we, we totally, we have six uh, maintainers, right? So for some PRs, uh, if the PR is created by a maintainer, then we need uh, additional three maintainers to uh, approve it. Then basically mean we need four maintainers. It's, uh, it's too much, for example, for the Sign OCI layout. This PR is uh, was created by Patrick, who is a maintainer, and we need three other maintainers to approve it. It's uh, it's uh, it is too much based on our current capacity. So we have this proposal for notation notation go repo. We only need two approvals, and for the notation core go, we think this is uh, uh, critical. We we can keep it as three uh, approvals. And for this is for the documentation, three approvals is also too much. Uh, two approvals will help to uh, get the uh, documents out. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, so, so if you agree, please uh, uh, add your comment, no good to me. Then sure. uh, if we have the majority, maybe today we can start to, uh, to change the, uh, to update the policy settings. Yeah, this is also helping if one of our maintainer uh, starts vacation. So we, yeah, we don't, <laughs> yeah, right. So, yeah. Okay, so this is the, the second one. So hopefully, Pradesh or Vani, some I new, have uh, already cash. Yeah. yeah. But, but we need uh, uh, maybe Pradesh, Rakesh, meaning yeah, for, yeah. for this. Because yeah, the yeah, other yeah. maintainers, so if we have the majority of maintainers agree with this, we, we can start to do it today. Yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, another thing is about the utility. As you may be aware that uh, uh, we have a lot of uh, issue created in the uh, notation repository about uh, the usability. Uh, some, for example, some are related to the output messages. 
some are related to how to use the uh, the flag the parameters. So we have a lot of issues. Uh, I think uh, once we cut RC4, uh, maybe Wani and I, we can work together. And and the, if you remember, we also have a similar uh, similar item in our uh, roadmap uh, uh, hack, down, uh, hack markdown prepared by Wani that we, we should address some of the output messages, right? So maybe Wani and I, we can work together to uh, get a prioritized list on the uh, UX issues. Then we can fix the most uh, critical one for the stable release. And for the others, we can uh, have a, a systematic way to fix those uh, posts that we want. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I think uh, we have this security audit ongoing, right? So. Uh, yeah. we, we we will have other issues between RC4 and uh, uh, stable release. So we should uh, prioritize those issues and with the UX issues or UX bugs uh, together, then we can uh, uh, we can cut for the stable release in the future. Uh, Okay, so this one we uh, I think uh, Wani and I we will work together uh, after RC4. Uh, the next is about the plugin. Uh, this is the a follow up from uh, our side on on the on previous discussion last Thursday. The plugin actually we we have this uh, POC, but we didn't continue. Uh, this is some information for you to know. Uh, we have previously we have this uh, Docker uh, notation plugin in Alpha One, uh, but we didn't continue it. So uh, I'm not sure Pritesh at that time already joined the community. Uh, or Saji, can can you provide more information about it? Uh, I, I think this is uh, yeah we, we have a we we have done the POC, but we didn't continue it but uh, now we uh, brought up this uh, discussion again um I think Shuei has most context on this so when we did this POC um the save the manifest was saved from the Docker store and then the the sign and all that used to happen so it was basically calling into not to notation through Docker, it the model was inverted, and that's what Docker plugins do, right? Um, I don't think this is. I, I think this scenario might have some concerns, like say, for example, how the manifest is generated is generated from a Docker save and things like that. Uh, Shwe, you can correct me if I'm wrong. My understanding is that is the implementation, right? Uh, yes. So basically, Docker does not save that does not have the manifest saved or stored in locally. So each time we need to build or we need to sign the uh, image, we need to generate the manifest on the fly. So what happens is technically the manifest should remain the same, but there's no guarantee. Um, if Docker yes. change adds an annotation or something like that in that CLI version, it'll change. So the the one potential option here is can we generate the manifest descriptor uh, at build time or if we have a direct integration we should do it in build x or build kit as an extensibility those are options that we should probably leverage um, and i believe toddy was supposed to talk with docker to follow up if we can actually make the change in build x to support this for example nerd ctl has an option to sign with cosine notation and things like that. Why can't we have a similar experience inside uh, Docker build or uh, to do that? Okay, uh, thanks, Sajay. So that means uh, uh, Todi will follow up with Docker sites to see I think, any I options. Think, yeah. I would say you better follow up with Todi also. Okay, sure, because Todi is uh, is out of office this week, and the next week is the Q 
KubeCon. So uh, we only have 10 minutes. So I think we do need to follow up this after KubeCon, right? And uh, uh, after, I mean, this will be also one uh, major item or feature um, post the uh, V1 release. Mm. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Post, post V1. Yeah. yeah. Post V1 for sure. Yeah. 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 So we will have a, a further discussion after KubeCon, uh, probably end of uh, April, so that we can uh, have a better understanding what kind of experience we are going to have uh, for assigning um, local uh, artifacts. And I do, uh, I do see other. Uh, comments in the sign also and layout uh, PR for the for the specs, for example, sign the spawn file, right? So we also need to have this experience discussed how to how to sign an uh, arbitrary file. Okay, uh, we will follow up this uh, after KubeCon, um, probably end of uh, April, beginning in May. Uh, Pritesh, you mentioned that you have a... Uh... Yeah, I was just wondering, uh, are we uploading the video recording? Because I was trying to search for last week and it's not there. And it looks like we haven't uploaded videos since Jan. I did saw the frame and opened a ticket to CNCF for this, but I couldn't pass the answers there. Or we, that we made any progress on it. Um, this ticket is still in progress. We got the reply from Amy that if we set the Zoom meeting uh, live streaming to YouTube for automation, automated recordings, then the recordings will be uploaded to the um, YouTube. But the current blocking issue is that we cannot receive the uh, authentication code when we log into the Zoom account. So this is still handling handled by the still uh, working with CNCF folks and uh, we are we are find the we are finding the solution for this problem okay do we have an option to, yeah do we have an option to manually upload till then i mean basically people do come to the looking for updates so it would be good if we can if worst cases we have to manually upload this right but even that is is that possible or not because i know oci vincent does manually upload sometimes we can definitely manually upload then but the current blocking issue is that the authentication code is blocking is a blocking issue that we cannot receive that authentication code we are trying to ask for cncf folks help for this problem this is the authentication code for the, the YouTube channel. For logging to the Zoom account. Now we have the account uh, and password to log into the Zoom, but it requires, requires us to provide the authentication code, one-time code, but we cannot receive that code. I think yes. I can... You can't yeah, download I, the recording also. Yeah, we cannot download and... Uh, view those videos I see, recordings I see. in Zoom, yeah. We'll accelerate yeah. it and push CNCF folks to help us unblock it within this week. Yeah, maybe maybe they didn't understand our problem. We can make it uh, specific. I'm not sure you added in the in, in the ticket that uh, we, we, did, we cannot receive the authentication code. Uh, um, Actually, for the service ticket, or notary maintainers should have access to view the conversation. If you log into the service desk and if you registered with your uh, working account, they okay. understand, yeah. but but it has some um, gaps between us, between our situation and their understand. We still need to follow up with CNCF folks. And you can also log into service desk to view the conversation there. Okay. 
Yeah. We'll let you know if this issue has been resolved by CNCF, then we can upload all of those recordings to Zoom meeting, to, to YouTube, sorry. Okay. Yeah, sounds human. <clears throat> Uh, the last one is uh, the last item adding ECR to the compatible registry list. Uh, is this item, uh, was this item added by you, Feynman? Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, let me open it. Oh, Sami is not in this meeting, but seems he's still working and re just replied. Yeah, 12 minutes ago, yes. Okay, we anything, have, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's good. If we have folks have confirmed and tested with ECR, then it means we can add ECR to the compatible registry list. This is awesome. Okay. Anything else we want to discuss? We have uh, three minutes. Uh, from my side, I think the most important is we, we have the RC4 cut uh, by this week. This is our target and we still have several PRs and we need to work uh, closely together to fix those uh, PRs. Mm. Yeah. yeah, and also, please, this uh, two approvals, I do think it is important right now. So please uh, add your comments, especially for the Go notation and uh, this website repo, if you are maintainers, so that uh, we, we will check uh, the majority of the maintainers' uh, replies, then we can take a decision. Anything else from, from your side, from, from other people? I'm good. Only thing is, uh, as you said, uh, I and you have to spend time on cleaning the some of the issues and the PRs, old PRs. Yeah, the old, old PRs and the issues, we, yeah, yeah. we can do it uh, yeah. step by step, but currently we, we have some uh, some other things we, we need to fix right. first. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. Have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. Nice day. Bye -bye. Yeah. Goodbye. Thanks.